All right, so let's take a discussion a little bit, an example of a, a proposition and compound proposition to put it in, mix it up, symbols and operations, and get a truth table out of it and kind of discuss it a little bit. So if you were given the compound proposition that it is sufficient that you do not see bears or the or their food, which would be or the bear's food, for it to be safe to hike. And so as you go through this, you would have little parts of it that you're reading it. And like, for example, like I saw a bear would be like the idea of seeing bears or I saw a bear food for seeing their food and being safe to hike is those are the predicates, the fundamental predicates that I noticed that the features like seeing bears, seeing bear food or having it be safe to hike. And so those are predicates in nature that as we go through it. And so the other thing is I noticed that there's some key words here that we have our operations involved in it and so there's an operation being get that off it sufficiency is an operation or is a operation uh, not is an operation right so i actually see several operators here as i go through it and so sufficiency would tell me that i'm going to have some sort of imply going on a not means i'm going to see a negation and this or well, I bet it's inclusive or, you know, I don't want to see bears or their food. So I, I bet this is the inclusive or as I go through it. So I understand that this is going to have, and picks in some, some reasonable variable names. I'm going to pick bear, food, and safe as the predicate name featuring upon the predicate itself. So I'll use those here. And now the question is, how does it work? All right, first off, sufficiency. The question is here, what is sufficient? Um, for sufficiency, the sufficient thing, if I have an implication, this side is sufficient, this side is necessary. And so since I use the word sufficient, I'm talking about the left, which means that the other part would be, so the question is, who is sufficient? Uh, not seeing bears or their food. So I don't see bears or their food. And so that would be the sufficiency part. So it looks like the sufficiency is not seeing bears or their food, which means that the other side is being safe to hike. So that would be the necessary condition, but I'm not saying that since I already used the word sufficient. All right, and so what am I negating? I'm not seeing bears or food. It's like not see bears or food. What I really mean is not, and it seems like there's a parenthesis here, see bears or food. So it looks like that this entire thing going together would end up being that the left hand side it is not to see bears or the food of the bears implies it's going to be safe. Now here's a good example of why I like long things that a B F and F instead of like B F and S, it's better than like P Q and R. We look at this. It is not the case that seeing bears or the food, right, which is I don't want to see the bears or food or bear food will imply that it's safe. And so sufficiency, since I said sufficient, I talked about the left side and then the other thing goes on the right. And so this here would be my compound proposition. Now for this compound proposition, I wonder what this thing looks like as a truth table. Well, now it's like I'm going to go through here and since a truth table, writing all that, eh, we can probably do that. So I'm going to have bear. I'm going to have food, I'm going to have safe, and then I'm going to do the bear or food, but I'll negate it at the same time. Not bear or food, so I'll do the or and then negate it. And then I'll do the not bear or food, and then into imply safe. And this thing here, and I got to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go. And so this will be true, 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 false, 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 true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. And so what do these mean? A false under bear means that you, sorry, a true under bear means you saw a bear. A false means you didn't. True, saw food. False, you didn't see food. True, it is actually safe. False, it is not safe to, to hike. And so what is bear or food? Bear or food, under or, true dominates. So wherever I have a true, it would be true. 
So that'd be true, 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 true. And there'd be my two falses, and then I negate it. So it ends up being false, 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 true, true. Because under the or, it was true, 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 because they just had a true somewhere, so it's true, and those two would be false. And then I negate that, which means that all the trues become falses, and the, tr and the falses become trues. And so I just did everything at once in my head. Normally you would do two steps, but that's good enough. And now I take this column here, and I imply safe. So false, it would this sort of implication, right? The implication is going this direction on each of those. So that's true. We would go through it here and say false implies, well, we already know that. False is vacuous. The hypothesis has not been met. False implies anything is simply true. So that means all of these are false implies. False implies, false implies, false implies, right? For every one of those. That means that the condition hasn't been met, so you can't have lied. So we're good to go. Those are just simply going to be vacuously true. You can't have lied because the condition has not been met. Now we check. True implies true, that's true. True implies false, that one is false. So now we look at this and say, you know what? No matter what happens, whether you see bears or don't see bears or see food or don't see food or whether it's safe or whether it's not safe on all of those trues or falses, all eight possibilities, it's almost all true. So saying that it's sufficient to not see bears or their food for it to be safe to hike is normally true, but it's not always true. There's one times it's false, and the one time it's false is that, hey look, I did not see bears or their foods, yet it wasn't safe. In other words, you didn't see food, you didn't see a bear, he was stocking up behind you because you didn't realize that you were the food. By the way, it wasn't safe. <laughs> so talking that way is that we could look at this and the truth table allows us to talk about you know normally that's right it's just when would it be wrong you know when would this statement be false this statement would be false in only the condition where you didn't see a bear you didn't see the food but it was still dangerous to hike but on the other hand like safe to hike could mean maybe normally since we're talking about bears we're talking about bears maybe it's thunder maybe it's lightning this is where we get to the difference, and kind of almost where you get to philosophy, different from mathematics, is where you have fun with what are you talking about? How does this work? And so you can have these sorts of discussions, and sometimes these discussions can end up being rabbit trails that never end. Well, what did you really mean this? And then you nitpick. A lot of times in real practical applications, you use common sense. What are you talking about? What does it mean? How does this work? Since you're talking about bears and food and safety, I'm pretty sure you're talking about safety from bears. We're not talking about lightning safety. and We're not talking about storms coming in and destroying you safety. All right, we're just talking mainly about bears. And so the issue with your, what you just told me, there's really only one issue, which is I didn't see the bears, I didn't see the food, but it still wasn't safe. Uh, every time else, you're fine. You told me the truth. So I'm. We would go through that and ask, under what conditions is it true? What, under what conditions is what I just said false? Why is it false? Why is it true? How do we understand this? And that's how these sorts of applications work. Not only is it to say, do I know how to go from English into symbols, but we also would like to go from symbols and put it back into a sentence that makes sense. But along with that is, maybe making the truth table, but usually having the form of the truth table in my mind to know what's going on. When is this true and when is this not true? And be able to have a verbal discussion about it. What am I saying and tear it apart? What's the true meaning of it and why are these things becoming what they are?